during ESMO 2020 virtual congress, we saw two important uh, uh, papers at the plenary session. The first one, uh, iPotential 150, efficacy and safety from the phase three study of iPotocetib uh, plus abiratron versus placebo plus abiratron in metastatic castration resistant prostate cancer. And the second one, uh, the final survival analysis of profound, which is Olaparib versus physician's choice encelotomide or abiratron in patients with metastatic castration resistant prostate cancer and homologous uh, recombination repair gene alterations. <laughs> Hypertensional 150 is a large randomized phase three trial where for the first time a combination was tested in patients that were uh, asymptomatic or mildly symptomatic with metastatic castration resistant prostate cancer. Um, the combination was with ipatocertib, an ACT inhibitor, plus abiratron uh, prednisolone, uh, which is a standard of care compared to uh, abiratron prednisolone plus placebo. Um, in this 1,100 patient trial, um, patients were stratified by the P10 loss by immunohistochemistry. So this is a test that uh, um, might tell us or which patient might be more susceptible um, or responding better to the ACT inhibitor ipatocertib um, and also stratified by other parameters like uh, docetaxel pretreatment. The first endpoint was uh, radiographic progression-free survival in patients uh, with P10 loss by immune histochemistry and by in the uh, whole population, the ITT population. So this was a dual primary endpoint. Um, there is a good rationale behind combining those uh, two drugs because uh, the uh, one uh, activates the pathway um, that is dependent on the other. So um, the combination really makes sense and uh, it makes sense to look into both populations, those with the P10 loss, uh, which activates the ACT pathway and in the whole population, we know that about 50% of patients uh, do have uh, that P10 loss in immune histochemistry. Um, now, um, the first endpoint, the RPFS endpoint in the P10 loss population by immune histochemistry was statistically significantly positive. The hazard ratio was 0.77 and the median uh, difference was the two months, 16.5 versus 18.5 months in favor of the combination. So uh, the first endpoint, one of the dual uh, primary endpoints was met. Uh, the RPFS in the ITT population and point was not met. The hazard ratio was uh, only 0.84. Um, but this is a positive trial and uh, that's why it was also presented in the plenary session, of course. Um, there are some side effects uh, with uh, the ACT inhibitor in addition to side effects from abiratron. We know that abiratron is well tolerated, but with the uh, ipatocertib, we have an additional like 20, 30% of uh, side effects and uh, as, um, around 58% of patients had to uh, stop the treatment for other side effects and 20% uh, were withdrawn. And this was uh, much more than the 5% with the uh, abiratron placebo uh, arm patients. The side effects that are important and that we have to try to mitigate are rash and diarrhea. And um, um, this was the major problem in addition to some others, but uh, the combination arm had definitely more side effects. Um, Finally, I think this uh, is, of course, a positive trial. Uh, the uh, first endpoint in the um, P10 loss population was positive. Uh, we, uh, until now, we have not tested patients for P10 loss, but maybe we have to in the, uh, in, in the future. Um, the side effects need to be mitigated. Uh, and as for now, as we don't have an overall survival benefit and um, other uh, positive endpoints, maybe it is a bit too early and we still need to uh, look into um, follow-up data before we use the combination in a daily practice.
profound is a randomized phase three trial um, that tested the PARP inhibitor Olaparib, uh, comparing uh, it to uh, a standard of care, which was either abiratron or ensalutamide in patients with metastatic castration-resistant prostate cancer that were pretreated with at least one of the novel hormones, so either abiratron or ensalutamide. They could have also have received uh, docetaxel, for example, but this was not mandatory. Um, this was a trial with 245 patients included. The randomization was uh, two to one. Um, this trial was uh, only um, uh, for those patients who had a genomic alteration in uh, BRCA1, 2, or ATM, this was the cohort A, or other alterations group B. Um, I will only refer to that uh, cohort A because it was uh, the important one for the primary endpoint. So coming to the primary endpoint, this was the RPFS endpoint, and this was already presented a year ago at the ESMO 2019 meeting. This year, um, plenary session, we had the over-survival, the final over-survival results um, in the cohort A with BRCA1, 2, and ATM uh, genomic alterations. To cut the long story short, the trial, uh, the overall survival endpoint uh, was positive, um, statistically significantly positive with a hazard ratio of 0.69, 19.1 uh, versus 14.7 months uh, median uh, OS difference. This was four months, uh, and this is quite remarkable, um, despite a substantial crossover of 66% of the patients. So uh, it is a positive trial with many respects. And I think that oral survival is very important, is important for the patients and for the uh, regu uh, regulatory uh, issues. Um, and uh, for, for that, uh, uh, something that uh, actually we were already eagerly waiting for. With this positive trial, I think that PARP inhibitors uh, are uh, part of our standard of care in the treatment of metastatic castration-resistant prostate cancer. Uh, and it also means for that, that we need to test our patients uh, for genomic alterations. We have to test them at least for BRCA1, 2, and ATM, um, and maybe also for the other genes, but this is another story. Um, so we uh, actually need to change our practice uh, and think of testing patients, I think, as soon as they get metastatic because we can't cure those patients. Uh, and at uh, one point, they uh, might uh, be in need of uh, treatment, of further treatment in that uh, MCRPC setting, and then uh, could get a PARP inhibitor as an additional treatment option with uh, over-survival benefit. Mm -hmm.